Maggie, I suppose championship in full swing. What have you made of it so far? Yeah, championship has been very exciting. So it has a lot of uh, lead up games, particularly for the Ulster Championship in terms of Donegal Derry. Uh, last weekend, a lot of people were looking forward to that and very much anticipating a, a very competitive game. Uh, albeit it probably turned out a little bit different. I suppose the big headlines at the weekend probably came from Breffney Park, um, where Cavan probably, uh, you know, probably unlucky maybe in some sense, uh, not to get a victory against Tyrone, uh, but a very, very ex exciting game as well. Um, and look, at, I suppose that's just the learning curve in, in terms of playing Division 1 team. Uh, Cavan like, probably just fell up short in, in terms of the extra time, but in saying that, though, it was a phenomenal game. And, it was great watching it, yeah. You just talking there even about Cavan the weekend. It feels like we're only a couple of weekends in. We are only a couple of weekends in, but already stories coming to the fore and it's going to be a great championship. Yeah, uh, and like, you know, week in, week out, uh, there's, there's a lot of anticipation, like, you know, for we're coming to the business end in terms of a uh, uh, championship now uh, for the provincial uh, finals. Uh, Semi-finals on at the, at the moment now, next weekend again. Uh, two big hi uh, hitters in, 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 in Ulster football again, you know, uh, that's we all seem to, to, to watch and, and enjoy maybe most of it. I'm, I'm, I'm being a and also person myself, we there's obviously a lot of anticipation uh, regarding that. Like you know, we've got Tyrone and uh, uh, Donegal in, in, in one semi final, and then you've got Down and Armagh in the other semi final. Like you know, it's it's, it's going to be an exciting weekend uh, ahead again. So it is, yeah. Couple that of was turn around for the for the lads. But, no. uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. they have to get themselves well prepared in, in six or seven days. Yeah. Just said, I suppose a couple of other sort of headlines the weekend sort of the, the cropped out. I was speaking to David there. I suppose look the 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 Cork Kerry game. You know, I think it was eighteen thousand there. The attendance has kind of dwindled a bit. You know, your own assessment on I suppose, you know, the, the fact that it started so early. I suppose the championship and does it affect attendance? Do you think? Well, look at uh, by and large, you know, at the end of the day, people are going to make their own choices in terms of whether they're going to watch it at home or whether they're going to go to a venue and, and watch it. And maybe spend a little bit more money, maybe doing that way. Um, look, at, I suppose nothing beats being there, and that's just the, the reality for me personally. Uh, you know, the the whole atmosphere, the the whole lead up into the game and so on. Uh, for me, you have to be there. You have to be in the stands uh, trying to watch it. Uh, so you do, but. Yeah, unfortunately, people have have taken maybe the easier option not going, uh, and maybe that's a financial burden. Maybe that the people are not in a situation maybe to incur that expense on the day. Uh, unfortunately, but we would love to see more people coming out to our games and, and supporting the you know their, their county uh, definitely. Yeah. Do you think, Maggie? I suppose the other kind of the headline that was that was so mentioned last week when Charlotte said, "Look." If it was possible, and I know, I know we only kind of threw this out, it wasn't that too concrete. If, if it was possible to get the, the you know, the, the club championship in, in order in, in the provinces, we could possibly look to return to a September date. Just interesting to see from your own point of view, you know, as, as a referee, does does where it is now suit better, or, or, or would you prefer it, or would it be a preference? see it to go back look to at, uh, to September yeah I suppose look at uh, you know growing up it was always like you know the, the big day in the in the calendar uh, so it was like September the third third week of September um, and you know like for me as a child we used to play like the Ireland on the Friday afternoon in, in school like you know so that was always our, our big PE day so it was like you know so that was very very exciting for us you know as youngsters uh, I suppose like the logistic part of it uh, in terms of uh, player welfare uh, and how that uh, affects the players because essentially we need the players playing uh, so we do you know and, and, and how that impacts on their life you know in, in terms of their recovery and whatnot um, the split season probably from, from a refereeing perspective doesn't affect us at all because we are constantly out and about uh, from January right through until December uh, you know with, with your with your McKenna Cup games for example right through then until your, your club championships at the very end of the year like you know so it, it, look, it's a hard one to decide. You don't know what's right or wrong, uh, so you're not. And, and I suppose it's it's the management that will have to probably just basically take direction from from the you know the people within the country uh, to decide on that. But again, like I've no really, I've no views on it really either way. Uh, but obviously, my my, prefer, my preference would be to, to go back maybe to September again. Yeah, we watch this space, Maggie. Enjoy the summer. Thanks, Elaine. Well, thanks very much. Sorry.